the number of muslims is increasing very fast in the european countries and the muslim population has already reached million. 44 million wow. 6% of the european population is already muslim some projections say that muslim population can even reach as high as 25% of the european population in 25 years even at the current levels many europeans feel that there are too many muslims around oh, really? because muslims are a visible minority muslims have a different way of clothing and follow a very religious lifestyle that makes them stand apart at the same time the liberal political atmosphere and the code of human rights allows european muslims to practice their religion quite publicly the presence of a large number of muslim immigrants in europe have led to a lot of discussions among the academicians and intellectuals of europe the european system of liberalism and social equality has given voting rights and equal status to muslim immigrants Leftist and liberal political parties have benefited from the support given by immigrant voters. Today, the political atmosphere of European countries and the European Union is pro-left and pro-immigration. Issues like multiculturalism and Islamophobia are now getting discussed quite seriously and the immigrants are very much benefited by the liberal attitudes of the European political leaders. Right. At the same time, politicians from conservative parties are taking more and more strict policies on immigration under the influence of far-right political elements. But right now, the situation is all win-win for the immigrants because the leftist and liberal political parties are dominating most of the European countries. Among the immigrants, a very large number comes from Turkey. People of Turkey can be seen in large numbers in Austria, Denmark, Germany and Netherlands. Today there are more than 10, 10 million, million Turks wow. in Western Europe. Muslim population is increasing very fast because Muslim families tend to have more children. Muslims have a family oriented lifestyle and they are happy spending their time with their women and children. The mainstream white people on the other hand have a strong desire to enjoy life to the maximum because they do not believe in the life after death. Their girls do not get married or get pregnant that easily because the soft and sweet pressures of a housewife may not attract their careerist and individualistic lifestyle. The Muslim way of life is not familiar to the mainstream white people of Europe. The strong sense of community shown by Muslims and their boycotting of bars and pubs looks unacceptable to the normal European person. In some European countries, Muslims follow their religious commitments quite seriously. In the United Kingdom, for example, 64% of the Muslims are highly religious. The situation can be a little bit different in countries like Belgium, where only 10% of the Muslims are practicing type. Half the white people in Europe adjust beautifully with Muslims living in their neighborhood. But many others cannot adjust with the conservative lifestyle of Muslim people. A small number of European people also believe that more Muslims can bring more terrorism into the European society. Hmm. But this Islamophobia is not shared by most political leaders of Europe. They are not afraid of issues created by immigrants because they have created a strong and faultless system of governance in which any person who breaks the law can be arrested right. and imprisoned quite easily. The European Union has already admitted that there are 50,000 jihadis in the European Union. They are not afraid of any such issues because they have a strong foundation of law and order which cannot be dismantled by Asian and African immigrants. Police forces in different European countries and the judiciary are extremely competent and they can handle any issue that destabilizes normal life in Europe. That is why France openly admits the presence of 20,000 jihadi people inside the country. Even the United Kingdom admitted that they have 23,000 jihadis inside UK. At the same time, there are a few European countries where right-wing politics is firmly established and immigrants are not welcome. Islamophobia is as high as 77% in Slovakia oh, really? and 66% in Poland. It's 64% in Czech Republic and 58% in Hungary. Countries like <coughs> Greece and Italy have Islamophobia at 56% because of their proximity to Asia and Africa. 
ഈവൻ ലിബറൽ സൊസൈറ്റീസ് ലൈക്ക് സ്പെയിൻ സ്വീഡൻ ജർമ്മനി ഫ്രാൻസ് റഷ്യ ആൻഡ് ദ യുണൈറ്റഡ് കിങ്ഡം ഹാവ് മോർ ദാൻ ടെൻ പെർസെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ സഫറിംഗ് ഫ്രം ഇസ്ലാമോഫോബിയ ഇഫ് ദ യൂറോപ്യൻസ് ഹാവ് സം ഡിഫിക്കൽറ്റി ഇൻ അഡ്ജസ്റ്റിംഗ് വിത്ത് ദ കൾച്ചർ ഓഫ് ഏഷ്യൻസ് ആർ ആഫ്രിക്കൻസ് ദ സെയിം കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഫീലിംഗ്സ് റൺ ഹൈ അമോങ് മെനി ഇമിഗ്രൻസ് ഹാഫ് ദ മൊറോക്കൻസ് and half the turkish people living in the european countries are not happy with the modern and liberal lifestyle of european countries hmm. even syrians have a strong sense of nostalgia for the different kind of life they used to enjoy back home in syria right. many far right organizations of europe argue that muslims can dominate europe in the near future in reality this is a baseless fear because most of the immigrants in europe are factory workers and sales people working under european employers their political rights can last only as long as their right to equality is tolerated by the liberal politicians of europe mounting pressure from far right organizations and the conservative politicians can lead to a reorientation of european political system where outsiders can have far less civil rights than indigenous people countries like saudi arabia and the united arab emirates maintain very good law and order even though they have a majority of foreign workers inside their countries the liberal politicians of europe are capable of fine tuning their policies in such a way that the control of local people cannot be eroded by the sheer number of foreign workers living around them socialism is a beautiful ideology but it is not strong enough to challenge other more powerful values like nationalism traditions. and cultural traditions islam is a minority religion in italy of course muslims minority religion ruled italy during the 9th century yeah. the norman conquest of sicily led to a gradual decline of islam due to the conversions and emigrations of muslims towards northern africa right. during the 20th century somali immigrants started to arrive In more recent years there has been migrations from Pakistan, the Balkans, Bangladesh, India, Morocco, Egypt, Egypt Tunisia, and yeah, Tunisia. There are African countries there. There are also some converts to Islam in Italy, most notably on the island of Sicily. According to Pew Research Center projections, there are 1.4 million Muslims in Italy, making up almost one third of Italy's foreign population. 250 Muslims have got Italian citizenship. The majority of Muslims in Italy are Sunni with a Shiite minority. Immigration has become a prominent political issue in Italy and this subject dominates news programs especially in the summer time. Police forces have not had great success in intercepting many of the thousands of Muslim refugees who land on Italian beaches. However, the vast majority of the Muslim refugees landing in Italy are only used in the country as a gateway to other European countries due to the fact that Italy offers fewer economic opportunities and social welfare services for them than Germany, France or the United okay. Kingdom. In 2017, community groups representing around 70% of the Muslim community in Italy signed a pact with the government to reject all forms of violence and terrorism right. and to hold prayers in mosques in the Italian language or at least to have them translated there are only a total of 8 mosques in italy because italy does not officially recognize islam as a religion oh. so muslims are not eligible for places of worship and public funding muslim holidays are not recognized in italy Although Muslim population in Italy is very small compared to its counterparts in France, Germany, Britain and Spain, and the Islamic feelings in Italy runs high, which became clear following the September 11 attacks of course and the London bombings. A survey published in 2019 by the Pew Research Center of the United States found that 55% of the Italians had an unfavorable view of Muslims. Wow. However, Many Muslims have become famous Italian citizens. Some of them are Vinny Paz, the lyricist and singer, Lida Raffanelli, the poet and publisher, Adel Smith, the activist, Ahmed Giappiro Vincenzo, another activist, 
സ്റ്റീഫൻ എൽ ഷറാവി എ ഫുട്ബോൾ പ്ലെയർ അബ്ദുൽ വാഹിദ് പല്ലാവിൻ സി എ സൂഫി ലീഡർ ആൻഡ് ഫൗണ്ടർ ഓഫ് ദി ഇറ്റാലിയൻ ഇസ്ലാമിക് റിലീജിയസ് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ദ ഇന്ത്യ റിലീജിയസ് സ്റ്റഡീസ് അക്കാഡമി ദി സോഷ്യൽ മീഡിയ ഹാസ് പ്രൊവൈഡഡ് എ സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻറ്റ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം ഫോർ ദ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഓഫ് ആൻറ്റി ഇസ്ലാമിക് സെൻറ്റിമെൻറ്റ്സ് പ്രൊവൈഡിങ് എ പവർഫുൾ ഔട്ട്ലെറ്റ് ഫോർ റേസിസ്റ്റ് and xenophobic hate messages even though the italian people do not like muslims the italian government is working hard to control islamophobia because of the pro islam agenda of the european union right a new project has been undertaken to combat islamophobia and this project is called stop islamophobia <laughs> clear stop islamophobia during the last 25 years a large number of asian and african muslims have settled in sweden because of several waves of immigration okay the relationship between the swedish people and muslims started in the 7th century because of uh, ancient trade relationships of the vikings the arrival of the days. muslims has made sweden a multicultural and multilingual country the people of sweden have a liberal political orientation and so welcomes people of different nationalities to their country but they want muslims to learn the swedish language and adjust with the lifestyle of their country at present there are around 800000 muslims in sweden okay islam has grown Just so much that now muslims make up about 8% of the Swedish population. In December 2019, the municipality of Skurup banned Islamic veils in educational institutions. Earlier, the municipality of Staffenstrop implemented a similar ban. Muslims in Sweden most often originate from Syria, Iraq, Iran, Bosnia, Herzegovina and Kosovo. The Iraqis being by far the largest group. There are also immigrants or refugees from Eastern Europe particularly from former Yugoslavian countries most of them being Bosniaks who number 12000 many muslims from Turkey and Lebanon also live in Sweden about 3500 swedish people have converted to islam similarly some muslims from Iran and Pakistan have also converted to christianity okay. Sweden has a large number of mosques madrasas and prayer rooms for muslims there are big mosques in malmo and stockholm nine mosques in sweden have imams sent and paid for by the turkish directorate of religious affairs or dianet along with their religious duties the imams are also tasked with reporting on critics of the turkish government sometimes propaganda for the president erdogan is openly presented in the mosques <laughs> The Muslim Association of Sweden is Sweden's largest Muslim organization which represents around 70,000 Muslims in Sweden and receives government aid from Swedish agency for support to faith communities. Islamic Relief in Sweden was founded in 1992 and it is a part of the international Muslim aid charity Islamic Relief which was founded in the United Kingdom. Ibn Rushd is an educational institution financed by state subsidies from Folkebildningsrådet a government agency the organization gives courses in dawa or islamic missionary work in 2017 ibn rushd received 27 million swedish crowns in government aid for its activities and a further 4.7 million for education of asylum seekers al salam skolan is a charter school in oribro This school receives about 200,000 Swedish crowns every month from Saudi Arabia. The school is run by a foundation controlled by Saudi nationals. Music is banned at this school and the boys and girls are segregated into groups along gender lines for hmm. several subjects due to religious reasons. Right. Beyond the national curriculum, the pupils receive 10 hours of tuition in Islam and Arabic. 